Hi guys and welcome to another episode of TLSA Let's Us Apprentice. My name is Onola and today we're going to be talking about blood group and genotypes, the difference. So if you ask a lot of people that do you know your blood group, like yes, or positive or a negative or whichever one they have. Or if you ask them do you know your genotype, they're like yes, they usually brag on Twitter, especially those AA people they're like hey hey, well positive. <laughs> but the thing is that do you know the difference between your blood group and your genotype? Or you're just saying it because someone said that this is your blood group. Some people, it's because their mother told them that ah, your blood group is this, they will not bring out the card from when you were a baby when they did the test for you. SMH, go and do it yourself if you've not done it. And some people, responsible, you know, adults, they've done the test themselves. But do you know what actually makes your blood group your blood group or your genotype your genotype? Well, if you don't know, let's find out in this vlog. So if you're new here, thank you so much for subscribing, you won't regret it. And to my old subscribers, Shigo, Danke, Asandisana, thank you for sticking with me. So jumping right into it, what is your blood group? You know the way that we have different type of beings, right? When I was thinking about this blog, that was the best <laughs> explanation that came to mind, right? So, you know we have red beans, white beans, and waloi, for those of you that don't know, that's only beans and all that. But all of them eventually are still beans. Yes, that's the way the blood group is. So we all have the same red liquid flowing through our veins, but we all have different types. And while there are so many systems that over the years are used to classify the different type of blood, the blood, the different type of blood, eh? Then kind our of blows that we have, the system that we now use is in Nigeria, especially in most part of the world, is the ABO system and the resource factor. So the ABO system is determined by the antigen present on the red blood cell. So if you're like me and you're a science student and you did biology, they will tell you that the blood has different type of cells, right? Uh, red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets, and all they are all suspended in plasma, like that, right? So the red blood cells are what the determine the type of blood group you would have so the red blood cells are something that we call antigen on their surface right so these antigens are the ones that determine that okay you would be a positive uh, or b positive no no you be a b o or a b the positive or negative sign that now comes after it is determined by the resource factor the d antigen so you can either have it or you don't have it so if you have it you're positive if you don't have it you're negative so if you add all that together that will give you like eight different type of blood groups using the abo system and resource factor so you have a a positive uh, a negative b positive b negative um a b negative a b positive o positive and o negative so that will give you eight different type of blood groups so why is it important that you know your blood group let me delve back down so like i said antigens on the red blood cells determine your blood group right so red blood cells very important they're the ones that determine the blood group that you belong to so why is it important that you know your blood group the most interesting thing is that it can help determine paternity right so you your mommy cannot be a and you will now your daddy is now a and the child will not be b you understand Co work because um the blood group is actually inherited from parents yes whatever blood group you carry you inherit them from your parents so it's not it's impossible that both father and mother would be like a a and the child will not be b mm, something is amiss right and in other news i say in other news and you can also help in blood donation right um say you are like you know your blood group right and it takes pressure just you feel like maybe it won't happen but it might just happen you might just need to save a life and they say oh this person is b positive and they need blood urgently so if you know your blood uh g group you can easily donate to the person that needs it right and another thing that you need it for is also in cases of blood transition although if you need, ever need to do a uh, blood transition in any of the hospitals they will have done uh, a test for you to determine your blood group before they even you know you don't have, in those cases you should know for yourself but hospitals will definitely do a check to confirm so it's definitely definitely important that you know your blood group and that is what makes your red blood cells antigens or red blood cells they're the ones that determine your blood group so moving on to genotypes what makes your genotype your genotype i know a lot of people have heard about genotypes but 
what actually determines what kind of genotype you carry? Actually, again, genotypes are inherited from parents, right? And the genotype is determined by the hemoglobin inside the red blood cells, right? The hemoglobin is the substance, is the let's call it substance in the red blood cells that make that give the blood its red color number one, and they are responsible for oxygen transport amongst other things, right? They take oxygen from the lungs to the tissues and carbon dioxide out of the tissues uh, back to the lungs to be expelled out of the body. I'm so just know that the hemoglobin in the blood is what determines your genotype and the hemoglobin has three variants right so you have the a the s and the c the a is what is con uh, considered the normal variant why s and c are considered uh, abnormal so each person has a pair of this uh variant right so according to that pair you can we have six that types of genotypes right you have the aa the as the ac the ss the sc and then the cc right so um you can anybody can you have either any of these uh variants and these variants are inherited from the parents right so why do you need to know your genotype now that we know that genotypes are gotten uh i determined by the hemoglobin in the red blood cells and that you get uh you inherit them from your parents right so why do you need to know your genotype so you need to know your genotype so that uh sickle cell disease which is um very predominant like it is very common it's very common in nigeria um we can discontinue it right so if you know your genotype you will know who to marry the appearance uh you will see them on your screen now the appearance that are that are favorable and parents that are not favorable so if you are as you will know that you cannot marry uh someone that is also as because you can give birth to children that would have sickle cell disease so you can prevent that knowing your genotype is to prevent your children from having sickle cell disease right so um and it's also important to know your genotype because it can help determine paternity. So imagine that uh, the husband is AS and the uh, wife is um, AA and their child now turns out to be AC. You find that you realize that uh, something is missing, right? It's like you know those rap names that maybe the child is sick. I'm going back to blood group now. And then they will not say, okay, or maybe the mother or the father should not come and donate for the child. And then they will not realize that neither mother or father have, you know, uh, the blood group that the child has. And they are like, how is that possible? Then you know that something is missing, right? So, yes, your genotype is, you need to check your genotype, know your genotype. So we can discontinue sickle cell disease. And it's also useful in case of paternity although it doesn't replace a DNA test right right so anyways guys that's the difference between genotype and blood group genotype is determined by the hemoglobin present in the red blood cells why blood group is determined by the antigen on the red blood cells themselves I know it's a whole lot of science but I really hope that you understand everything that I've said in this vlog today so if you've not subscribed guys don't forget now ah, I'm my life. subscribe to the channel and also ring the bell so you'll be informed when I drop a cool new video for you to watch and learn from so guys my name is Yerumi Zodrumola thank you so much for watching this video if you found this useful please don't forget to share with your family and friends so that I come your way again in my next vlog I'm sending you guys love and light bye guys <laughs>